What's up course heroes welcome back to the channel this is your boy Amit and today I'm going to show you how to build a membership page in New Zendler. So without further ado let's get started. Now first I'm going to show you the membership site that I have built and then walk you through how I did it. Uh, so first thing I'm going to do is go into courses and then I'm going to preview and show you what this looks like for a student. So I'm going to go into one of the courses that's my flagship course which is free. If you want to learn New Zendler, I'll put a link below so you can sign up and start learning how to use New Zendler. Now um, in here if I go to curriculum and I want to preview this preview course curriculum as a student this is what it's going to look like for your students. What I wanted to do is I wanted to build an area which would be kind of like a start page almost when a student signs in instead of bringing them straight to the curriculum and overwhelming them with too much content. If I as a student click on home, this is the page that I have designated for all my logged in users. And I want to give them four different options. So this is almost like a start point, a checkpoint where they can decide for themselves where they want to go. Now I want to give credit where credit is due. I got this idea from two people in the Facebook group that's there in the New Zealand group, which is Erica Carroll and Kevin, I forget his last name, but uh, they have done a great job of setting up their membership homepage. And how I have it set up is I have four options for my students when they first log in. They can either continue to the course, they can connect with me, they can go to the community or they can claim their bonuses. So if you have bought New Zealand through my affiliate link, you get bonuses and I'll show you what happens. If I click on this claim your bonuses button, they are taken to my affiliate bundle, which they get access to as part of their bonus. And they will have access to all of this, or if it's a student who has not purchased through me, then they will just see padlocks on these courses. So next thing is connect with me, that opens in Messenger. I have added a little icon here. So they click that, that takes them to Facebook Messenger, and they can connect with me from there. The next is continue to course, which brings them straight to the curriculum. And then finally go to community will bring them to my course community, which in New Zealand, you can have unlimited communities and you can connect communities just to courses, or you can have a community for your site wide students like this one right here. So those are the four options they have. Again, you can kind of get fancy with this. You don't have to stick to just these buttons. I can show you how you can do this with images and boxes. So to get started, how you want to do this is go to site and I'll show you the page that I've already created. You go to pages. Uh, I'm not going to show you how the page editor works. I have multiple videos that show you how to use the page editor, but here you can see I have a page called membership home. So I'm going to go to the settings of that page and show you one of the most important things is I have published this page, but have it visible only for logged in users. So that's the important thing because this is going to be your membership homepage. You only want it for logged in users. Then I went into home page and selected that whenever someone logs in their homepage should be this new membership page that I just created. Hopefully that didn't sound too confusing. Create a page first, go into its settings or when you're creating a new page, make sure you have selected page visible only for logged in users, publish the page, then go to your home page and decide what that page is going to be and select that as the home page for your logged in users. Then you can edit that page. So I'm going to go into editing this page to show you a few things you can do. You obviously need the URLs for those things that I just showed you the all the buttons. So first thing is if I go into courses, I can get the URL for my course curriculum page or the course access page as it's called in New Zealand. So any every course that you have, if you click on the pages tab, you will see all of the pages and you cannot add any extra pages in this, but here's the course access page. I can simply copy the URL, go into my editor, click on this button setting. And then in this, I have added that same URL for my students. So they're taken to that dashboard. So that's the first thing. Next is same thing for messenger. I have added my messenger link in here, which brings, opens up Facebook messenger and allows them to connect with me for the community. What I did is I went into my communities and then I went into this one. I basically just copied this link because I couldn't get the URL for the actual community. So if we go back here, uh, let's see what I have done for my community link. I'm going to go into settings. Yep. So it's my website URL forward slash community, and that'll bring them directly to your site wide community. And then finally for my bonuses, uh, my bonuses live in a bundle. So I added the URL for that bundle. So if I go here, you will see uh, 
the name is my affiliate bonuses forward slash dashboard to get that i simply went into my courses my bundles and here's my affiliate bonuses bundle and i just grabbed the url from the pages tab and put it in there so it's just as easy as that so this course access page bundle right here this is what i had copied and pasted there now again you don't have to be limited with just adding buttons here's one thing you can do is you can add a row and in this row you can add images and those images can lead people to their destination for example i can add an image here here's my image i'm just going to search a computer image using news and learners built-in integration with pixabay uh, let's say I like this. I'm going to select it. I'm going to insert it without crop. So this whole image is going to get uploaded. So here's the image and this can be, you know, whatever your core product is and you can write on top of it using Canva or your favorite photo editing tool. Uh, in my case, I'm simply going to add a text below it. Uh, I'm going to uh, change the text color, but I, again, I'm not going to do too much editing because the idea here is to show you how you can do this and not the editor part of it and then what I can simply do is go into the settings and on settings what I can say is on click if someone clicks this image go to a URL so I'm just going to copy one of the URLs that I had recently done and paste it in here say open it in a new tab and then you can also add an animation for this to bounce in when it first loads and the style is good image is responsive everything else is good i can save this now but one thing i did forget to do is add that on the text too so i'm going to go into settings and i think i need to select this entire text copy the put this url here and say open a new tab and now when a student clicks on either the image or the uh, text below it the same thing is going to happen i'm also going to add an icon in here so let's go to the icon library and select down. I want a down arrow. Uh, I want to change the color because that's hardly visible. So I'm going to go into style, change the color, and then change this to 60. Go back to this one and remove the spacing from the top, put it to zero. Go back to my icon, make sure there's no spacing on the bottom to bring the text and the icon closer to each other. So I'm just going to put zero in here and you can do the same thing with the icon too. Uh, no, there's no option to have on click option for the icon. So we're going to leave it as is, but here's how you can do it. And then now if we preview this page, what's going to happen is your students can click on that link and that link will take them. So if I click on this link, you see the bounce animation act happens. Congratulations, start here. If they click that, they'll be taken to where, whatever the destination is you want them to go. Now I'm going to delete this because this is on my membership homepage. Uh, the other thing you can do is before your students do anything, maybe you want them to watch a video. So you can simply add a video in here. So I'm going to add an element. Let's say this is a 100% element. And let's add a so you can embed a video by custom HTML or just add this video option. You can pick videos from your video library or you can embed it using the embed code here. So I can just do this one right here and just like that, your students have a welcome video. Now, after they watch this welcome video, you can still have this stuff at the bottom or you can simply add a button below this video saying start here. Now, here's the cool thing. What you can do is this video is four minutes and 38 seconds long. So what I can do technically is add a new element and let's say I'm adding this button and this button I'm going to select the design of my let's do this one right here with an icon and what we're going to do is in settings in animation and I can select go to link uh, sorry in the settings I can select action go to link add that link and then you can also add an animation to fade I think there's a fade in option here let's see if I can find that fade in. So I can say fade in after whatever uh, four minutes and 38 seconds. So let's say we want this button to show up after four minutes of them watching this video. That'll be 240 seconds. So I'm going to say show this button after 240 seconds. So your students will have nothing else to do but to watch that video without being interrupted. And that could be kind of like your indoctrination video, your uh, welcome video, whatever that video is. Now, if I preview this, 
it'll start with the video and the button is not going to show up till 4 minutes and 38 seconds even though i'm hovering over here uh, i can see i can click something but because this is in preview when you publish this your students will only have this video to watch and nothing else for at least four minutes now i'm going to show you this quickly i'm going to change this instead of four minutes we are going to change the delay to 10 seconds let's do that and now if you go into preview you can see that the button will show up in after 10 seconds so you have their attention and you can use these animations and the delay in the animations to trigger certain things you see it comes up after 10 seconds now it doesn't disappear after a certain period of time it only comes in after a certain period of time that's something to keep in mind but that's pretty much it you can design your membership page any way you want it and there you have it that is how you can easily build a membership page in new zendler using nothing but drag and drop blocks if you haven't tried new zendler yet click the link in the description below grab your free school get started and if you end up purchasing through my affiliate link you also get some awesome cool bonuses that will be in the description below thank you for watching and i will see you on the flip side keep creating